How you doing guys? I'm Michael with Red Dragon Woodworks and today I'm going to show you guys how I gave my ordinary medicine cabinet a little bit of life. Stick around. So I decided to remodel our bathroom for my wife's birthday, but I forgot one very important thing. The medicine cabinet. I mean, how do you do that? Jeez. I began by removing all four screws that was holding it in place. Then I removed the cabinet very gently as to not bang and break the mirror. My wife wouldn't be happy. Then I took it to the garage, aka the wood shop, aka the lab, and got my measurements. The top measured out at 16 inches. And the sides, those measured out at 26 inches. Next, I took my square, made my marks, then I took it to my miter saw and cut everything to length. Once that was finished, I took all four pieces to the routing table and I routed a nice cove using a core bit. After routing, I took all four pieces to the table saw I cut them all to the desired width. Once that was finished, I took all four pieces back to the miter saw and cut all the corners at a 45 degree angle. Then I gave them a light sanding to smooth out any rough edges. I brought all four pieces over to the medicine cabinet to give it a dry fit, making sure that all four corners matched up. Once that was finished, I began to glue everything together. I used some wood glue and some painter's tape to hold all four corners together. I was a little surprised on how well it works. There's a little trick I learned from David Pesciuto. I'll have a link to his page in the descriptions down below. After a couple of hours, I removed all the painter's tape to see how well the corners all held together. And surprisingly, they really did hold together. I was still a little unsure of how well they would hold together over the years. So I went ahead and nailed them using my finish nailer, just in case. Once all four corners were nailed, I used a little wood putty to fill in the nail holes. Then I sanded it down with the 100 grit sandpaper to knock off any excess. Now it's time for some stain. I used the Min Wax Gel Stain. It's a hickory color. It's the same color that's in my bathroom and pretty much all the cabinets in my house. Once everything was stained, I went ahead and gave it a good once over, making sure I didn't miss any spots. Once I was satisfied with everything and how it was wiped down and how clean it was, I gave it a thumbs up. Once the stain had time to dry, I went ahead and gave it a quick couple coats of some shellac, just for some protection. As the shellac was drying, I noticed that the medicine cabinet had four plain pieces that would be exposed from the drywall. So I went ahead and took some scrap, stained them, and cut them to length, and then glued them all into place using an epoxy glue.
Once all four pieces were glued in and secured, I went ahead and repeated the process for the frame, mixing up some epoxy and adding three dabs of glue, one to each corner and one in the middle. Once all four corners were glued, I began slowly lowering the frame into place. Once it was in place, I began to clamp all four corners and in the middle. After a couple of hours, once the epoxy had time to dry, I brought the medicine cabinet back to the bathroom and began to put it back in its rightful place. And here it is, the finished product. I hope the wife is happy. What up guys? Just want to say thanks for watching my video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I know I had a lot of fun making it. I was a little nervous at first, but then as I got into it, the nerves went away. That's why I started out with something simple. Anyways, I just want to give a quick shout out to a few guys. Uh, who helped me to create this video, who inspired me to create this video, and also to, who inspired me to keep creating. Uh, I want to say aloha over to Shane at Beach Bum Living. I want to say what up to Dave Pusciuto at Make Something, aka the Drunken Woodworker. I see what you're doing there. I want to say what up to Bob Claggett at I Like to Make Stuff and Jimmy Diresta at Jimmy Diresta. Good one, bro. Anyways, guys. Thanks for watching my video, and if you like what you see, click subscribe down below. I'll have a link to those guys' pages that I mentioned in the descriptions down below. Anyways, thanks for watching my video. Have a great day. See you later.